I'm sorry, do you sell stamps? Can I get a book of them, please? I just want to tell you I come in peace. I'm not your enemy. You're my enemy when you don't wear a mask. Well, guess okay. what? Shop right. Shop right. They tried to pull that on me. They called the cops. They actually have a lawsuit against me because of it. I had the paperwork out in the car because you can't you can't make people wear a mask. Obviously, Pennsylvania Human Relations Department Commission. They're the one that said that they were in violation. Okay. Have so a good day. You guys Bye. will be in violation too if you keep doing it. But thank you for not giving me a problem because you know you can't make me wear a mask. You, you do have to wait on me. You can you can deny it if you want. Right, and I can call my manager and they can That's fine, and you guys will get sued just like ShopRite is. I have the paper, I can show you in a second. ShopRite tried to do the same thing with me, and they're getting sued because of it. I know you don't want to get involved, but I just want to yeah, let you know. Yeah, I'm saying, that's, that's actually our protocol right now. Is if you don't have a mask, you can't come in. Yeah, so. but Peggy already knows that I don't wear a mask anyway because of my medical condition. Okay, she'll be here tomorrow. But, but I don't even need a medical condition, that's what I'm saying. Everybody on this, in America here, you don't need a medical condition to not wear one. You just have a free, your free will to say no. And that's it. And then we have the same free will to say no, we're not serving. No, I know, but, you'll, but then you'll be denying our services, and that's against the 1964 Federal uh, Act. You can't deny services for any reason. Thank you. But thank you. Thank you. So there's a little bit more of the attitude from the woman. So I see she didn't learn anything. She didn't learn anything. She didn't give me a, a problem per se, but she did say that she would she can refuse my service. That is against the Federal Act of 1964, where you can't refuse people's services due to their religious beliefs. Back on September 24th, 2020, going into Acme, where I just came from. Are you going to refuse me service because I'm not wearing a mask? I don't have to wait on you now. What's that? I don't have to wait on you because I don't have a mask. Okay. You know it's against your uh, first constitutional right. I understand that, but our store manager, it's a rule in our store. I know it's a rule, but the rule, you, you can make up all the rules you want, but you still got to follow the federal law. And the federal law, according to our stores, that you have to have an answer. It's not a federal law. It's our federal law here at the store. It's, it's, so it's her federal law here at the store. Again, the, the problem is people, they have their own perception as to what is what when it comes to these laws but just with ShopRite itself and Joe Calhay this is a case number which was received on that day and because of me going in there and filing this report back in December ShopRite is already found in violation Section 5 of Pennsylvania Human Relations Act. And that is the discriminatory act towards my religious beliefs. The Human Relations Commission, they have jurisdiction over this matter. And so they pray that ShopRite will provide all appropriate remedies under Section 9 of the Pennsylvania Human Relations Act. I went through this once 
And then today, you heard her in the beginning, the same lady, I said, I'm not your enemy. Oh, you're my enemy if you don't wear a mask. Now, just by that alone is discrimination because... Find the complaint, discriminate, discrimination you filed, the Human Relations Commission. It's unlawful for any person or employee or employment to discriminate in any manner against any individual because such individuals has opposed a practice forbidden by the Pennsylvania Human Relations act or because such individual has made a charge testified or assisted in any manner in any investigation proceeding or hearing thereunder i refuse i'm not buying anything then you need to leave her sir is required to wear a mask and it's required you know what the word requirement means See, this is a. This yes, is a, I require you to wear a mask. In my I require you to take your mask off. Okay. I'm the store manager. You need to leave the store if you're not going to. I'm not leaving. What are you in here for? I'm waiting for my wife to get something. Please stand outside and wait for your wife. No, I'm good. I'll stand right here. So, this is discrimination, and it's a familiar feeling because it also happened. I was in here, and he said he was going to call the cops on me. December 17th. I can't be in here without a mask. But it's our store policy. No, I understand that, but it's against my religion to Okay, that's fine. Then you can you can do alternate methods of shopping. It's I'm not doing all of them. Okay, then, then I would have to ask you to leave. You can ask me to leave, but I don't have to leave. Yeah, if you're not going to want to buy by our <laughs> store. I don't know what that is. Nope. You come in here, you wear a mask. You don't want to wear a mask, you can leave. Warminster Township. All of you come over here. Warminster aren't required to wear the equipment, but are encouraged to do so. No. This is your website, right? Here. I don't know what website that is. If you're in here shopping, you wear a mask. Or you can use one of our alternative methods of shopping. It's against my religion. My, that's first, my first Amendment right. And that's not a religion, your First Amendment right. Oh, it it's is. my First Amendment right to tell you that my store policy is what you have to it's buy. A, it's, it's a religion to believe that you have to wear it. I know. Wow. Good. Uh, I, would appreciate, I would appreciate it if you respect that box. Whatever uh, religion you have, I, I respect that. Yeah. But you really have to uh, you have a policy. And by enforcing a policy, we're keeping everybody safe. Our employees. <laughs> And That's according to the CDC guidelines that you think. It's it's your belief that yes. that's true. Correct. That you don't that's my policy, and I have the right to... Are you the manager? Yes, I'm the surgeon. Okay. On this, I just tried to show him, but on your actual website, this is Warmester Township uh, Shop Break Grocery Store, right? Uh -huh. All right. It says that they're ramping up the health safe measures of employees during the COVID outbreak. They aren't required to wear the equipment, but are encouraged to do so. No, we are required. I don't know what we've done. You don't know what put it no. up? No, I don't. We are required. Everyone comes in this building is required to wear a mask. All I can tell you is I refuse to wear a mask. I'm not wearing one. Yeah, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I, you can ask me to leave, but you can't make me leave. I will. We're going to call the cops. You will have Please call the cops. I need you to. I'll wait right here peacefully. Uh, can you wait out here? Wait out where? Uh, no, no, no. I'm waiting right here in the store. You can't, you can't restrict my movement. I said, yeah, I can restrict. I have the if you want to, if you want to be charged with unlawful restraint, that's why I'm still the cops. No. Can you stand outside and wait for your wife? No, I'm good. I'll stand right here. And then you just put your hands on. Because I know it's possible. You can't make me leave the store. Okay. Huh? Can. You can make me leave? Mm -hmm. How? Dragging me out? Is a threat? It's a state mandate. I know it's a mandate. What is what does the word mandate mean? State mandate. Besides an authoritative order 
by our governor, who, Governor Wolf, the one that had a mandate for uh, the people, he violated the First Amendment right with the people to assemble. So he's violating this First Amendment right too, which is a freedom of religion. I look, I'm not. I'm. This is. A, I'm just doing a peaceful protest. Nobody can make me leave the store. Because if you try to, if you try to keep me from moving forward, it's false imprisonment. We'll think differently. You don't have to wear. Even as, even as an employee in the store, they're violating your First Amendment right. But if nobody says anything, nobody's going to do anything about it. I'm just. I'm just telling you what your rights are. I'll wait right here peacefully. Uh, can you wait out there? Wait out where? Uh, no, 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 I'm waiting right here in the store. You can't, you can't restrict my movement. Yes, I can. I can restrict right up there. If you want to, if you want to be charged with unlawful restraint, this one's full of cops. No, the this is my policy. I don't enforce my policy. Today's March 28, 2021. I'm not leaving. So think of that. So there's the threat. I will carry you out to the cops. And just constantly reminding people that this is the Pennsylvania Human Relations Commission. So far, they're the ones that took the case and the guy that's the investigator is telling ShopRite that they have... Uh, well, they're requiring to provide all appropriate remedies under Section 9 of the Pennsylvania Human Relations Act. So the respondent must file an answer to your complaint within 30 days. The below investigator is the one that's assigned to, to my case. This is all I need right here to retire. And you can just download it all on the computer. Public accommodations, doesn't matter if it's a privately owned establishment, went over that. You can't be charged with trespassing, obviously, because they already violated the Section 5 with my own statement. And it's just a few pieces of paper here. State law mandates you must wear a mask before entering. And I'm just writing what things should be this is the notice of discrimination you see i i let them i let them off the hook acme i let them off the hook because they left me alone uh, but when i went in today they're obviously not, they obviously haven't learned anything because they still think that they can uh kick me out of the store if, well, technically, they think that what was said is I am their, her enemy because I'm not wearing a mask. That right there is the, at the highest discriminatory act that you can catch. Because it's just letting you know that you are an immediate enemy. As soon as you walk into the doors, you get personal.